Yeah. Okay. Let me start with that. What is comp comp one and comp three? So basically, uh, comp comp one comp two are used for storage purpose to save storage. So when they ask why we are using comp comp one comp two, even we had numeric data types. Why we are using? Because numeric data type will take more storage, but comp comp one comp two will take comp three will take less storage. That is the main advantage of comp. Why we are using comp in COBOL? If they ask this question, that should be the basic answer. What is the answer? Can anyone tell me? We are saving storage here. Basically, numeric. If numeric takes four bytes, here it will take two bytes. Basically, that is the concept. We are st saving storage. So whenever they you face a question like what what is the necessity of comp comp one comp two and comp three, uh, COBOL is that you should answer that we are going to save the storage with respect to comp comp one comp comp three. So what is comp one? Basically, the data is stored in binary format. So how does the data uh, saved in comp form uh, comp format? Because if you look at nine uh, range from nine, S nine of one to nine of four, it takes only two bytes of storage. Okay. Uh, if you look at S nine of five to nine of nine, it takes only four bytes of storage. And if you look at S nine of ten to nine of eighteen, it takes eight bytes of storage. So here we off off byte is called two bytes, full byte is called four bytes. Double Double word is called eight bytes. Okay, off word two bytes, full word four bytes, double word eight bytes. Okay, so if you take similar declaration with respect to numeric data type, uh, let's say I have taken S nine of four. Okay, S nine of four take how much space? Can anyone answer me? How much space it will take? We had four digits, so it will take four bytes of memory. <laughs> Four okay. bytes. Four bytes of memory. S nine of four comp will uh, sorry S nine of four declaration will take. But with respect to comp S nine of four comp, how much it will take? Two bytes. Two bytes. Two bytes. So you have seen two bytes of advantage here, right? You are saving two bytes of data here. So that is the basic concept of comp. We are saving data here. We are sorry. We are saving the storage here. So that is the basic advantage. Okay. Are we good here? Yes. So how, how data is stored in com binary format? Okay. And one question will be with respect to com, where do we use com? Any uh, any answers? Anyone can answer this? Where do we use com in COBOL? What are the advantages of com in COBOL? What are the scenario where you encounter to use a com? In COBOL, these are the basic questions with respect. It reflects all same question only. Answer is same, but different types of answering, uh, uh, asking a question to same answer. What are the advantages of COMP? Where do we use COMP? So uh, this is the basic question. So the basic answer for that is, we were looking at perform statements like we were you uh, looking at subscripts, right? So all these places for effective automatic uh, uh, calculations, we use COM. For saving memory, we use COM. For fa fast program uh, execution also, we use COM. So the, the application, some of the applications is counters, increments, loop variables, and system internal data. So counters we have seen, increments we have seen, loop variables we will be seeing in the uh, perform st statement. So these are the basic uh, applications where uh, wherever we use uh, COM is, these are the basic applications. Can anyone repeat this um, applications? Where do we use? Sunil, can you repeat this? We use for yes. automatic calculation. Okay. We use for saving memory and registry yes. area. Okay. For, area. for faster program execution also, we use COM. Some of the applications is counters, increments, loop variables, and system internal data. These are the basic advantages of com okay so apart from that what is comp1 and comp2 basically <clears throat> comp uh, and comp2 is uh, represents basically the floating point so uh, we use the data here uh, basically is 4 bytes and 8 bytes that is the basic 
question you should uh, answer you should be telling to the interviews it will take four bytes of data it will take eight bytes of data so it is double word floating point uh, uh, representation it is a single word uh, floating point representation okay are we good here they will not ask much questions with respect to comp 1 and comp 2 but they will be asking comp and comp 3 so you should be able to answer these advantages with respect to comp 1 comp but coming to COM3, COM3 is the um, uh, usage is basically we use for decimal point. This should be the basic uh, explanation when you are giving for COM3. Where do we use COM3? We use for decimal point. The representation is in decimal format. Okay. Hexadecimal format, we can say that. And sign is stored separately as rightmost byte. And we call that as slack byte. Uh, additional off byte is called slack byte. Okay. We sign is stored at rightmost uh, space, and we call that uh, space as slack byte. Okay, and we use we need to use exon command to see com3 data. Com3 data cannot be readable format. It cannot be readable by human eye. It will be uh, not in a non-readable format. So when we use exon command, then only we can see their data. They will ask this question: How do you see com3 data? They so for that question, you need to answer. We'll see COM3 data by using exon command. This should be the basic concept. We use exon command to see COM3 data. Okay. And C means positive, D means negative. This is also one point you need to mention when you are explaining COM3. So how do you cal calculate the COM3 data? Uh, how much, uh, um, let's say if you are given a uh, S9 of 9, COM3, how much space the, does COM3 will take? So basic calculation, calculation with respect to, can anyone give this calculation formula? I discussed this previously, anyone? N by two plus one for this, for even number. Even. And what is the calculation for odd number? N plus 1 by 2. Very good. So this is for odd number basically. Why I have given this? By 2. N plus. Let me open and close a bracket so that it will be easy to understand. So this is for odd number. Let me give one variable and uh, you should you people should answer how much space it does take. S9 of 10 comp 3. Can anyone tell me what will be the answer? How much storage it will take? Sunil? Four bytes, Sadish. How are you telling that? S9 of 4, COM3, it is not. What is the calculation, Sunil? If it is an even number, n by 2 plus 1, I told. What is 10 by 2? It is an even it's number. Five, 10. 10 is even number. So 10 by 2, how much? 5. 10 by 2 plus 1. So how much space it is taking? Sunil, I plus yes, one, sir. right? Six bytes. Are you able to understand or uh, you have any questions with respect to this? Getting Satish. Okay, let, let me answer this. Uh, so tell me this. How much storage does it take? Hmm? How much storage does it take? S9 of 15 comp. What is the calculation? What is this numeric? Oh, sorry, even or odd? What is this value? Even number or odd number? It's odd. 
it's odd number uh, odd <laughs> what is the formula for odd number for odd number it's uh, n plus 1 divided by 2 uh, what is n plus 1 what is n plus 1 value yes. It's nine plus one, uh, nine plus one, Satish. Why nine? Here nine. you have given fifteen, Six. right? Ah, uh, sorry, it's fifteen, fifteen plus one. N yes, yes. N? Okay, you are not able to understand where you are giving n. Okay, so this is n basically. So if there is a very comp declaration, whatever the uh, value present in the bracket that, that represents n. Okay. If it is here, ten, ten by two plus one. So it we have given six six bytes. If it is fifteen, fifteen is a odd number. So fifteen plus one, sixteen. Sixteen by two, how much? Eight. So eight bytes of storage. It's eight. Is eight seven. Okay. Are we good here with the yes, formula? Yes, sir. Rajeshwar, are you good? I don't know. Today, Rashikar is not answering anything. I Marvi, think he. Pardon? He messaged that he is in office. office okay. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Okay. No problem. I haven't. I haven't looked at that. Okay. No problem. Uh, Madhavi, are you okay with this calculations? Any questions with respect to this? Yes, that is clear. So I will remove all this. Actually, just I have one question where we need to declare that positive negative. You will that not uh, declare. A... You will not declare that. Basically, you will give uh, the comp declaration. Uh, let's say if you have a value like uh, one, two, three, four, five, n six, seven. This is the amount value you are having. So how do you declare this when you given a requirement? So if it is having any plus sign, if it is not having any plus sign, you give, generally give nine of how much digits? Five digits. Five mm. dot nine of two. Yeah. Form three. That's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you had plus sign, mm -hmm. plus or minus sign in between the uh, for a value uh, given amount. If it is a amount value, mm -hmm. then you should basically give s because amount okay. can be negative and amount can be positive. Decimal is something okay. where you always give a uh, what uh, uh, talks about amount only. If you are talking about decimal, it basically talks about amount. So. If you are talking about amount, there should be always a negative sign or a positive sign because amount can be negative or positive. So that is the basic representation. So when you are giving plus or minus sign, you should give s. So in this s, s represents plus or minus sign. So where does this s basically store is? It will store at the rightmost uh, storage space. Let's say if one two three four values storing after one two three four five and seven eight. At rightmost corner, half byte of space will be taken for that sign byte, and we call that sign byte as slack byte. When you explain all these points with respect to COM three, the interview will then itself I will understand. He, they know the concept. He or she knows the concept. Uh, then he will not ask any further questions with respect to COM three. Any questions with respect to this, Madhavi? No, it's clear. Positive D means negative. We use Exxon command to see COM3 variables in PS file. PS file is uh, sequential file, basically. Okay. Are we good here, guys? And COM1 is used for floating point digit when digits are greater than, uh, sorry, less than 8. And if it is greater than 8, we use for COM2. That is the basic explanation for COM and COM2.